Hi, I'm Benjamin from Airtame, and in this video, I will be showing you how to set up an Airtame device on a wireless network. We generally recommend that you use a, an Airtame device with a wired network using Ethernet cables to just get the best experience and most stable connection. However, you might have cases where you need to run it off the Wi-Fi signal. If you want to see how you can set up an AirSIM device with Ethernet connections, make sure to head to the video description of this video and click the link to see our other tutorial. So without further ado, let's just get into it. As you can see above me, I have my AirTime screen running on a TV. I have simply turned on the AirTime device for the very first time and plugged the Ethernet cable into the TV so I can see the video signal. On my laptop, I already have my uh, Airtame application running. If you don't have that, simply head over to airtame.com slash download and download the Airtame application for your device. Once you have that up and running on your laptop, we also need to make sure that we have our Airtame cloud organization ready to go. If you don't have that, simply go to airtame.cloud and create your new Airtame, uh, Airtame cloud organization. As you can see in here, I already have a single device set up in my group, and I have a few different groups in the left side. So the main thing we need to look out for on our Airtime screen is actually the unique name. Now, this name is gonna be shown in two different places, depending on the exact firmware version your Airtime screen is running. So you might see something what we're seeing on the TV right now, or for slightly older firmware, you could see something like this. In both cases, you're going to see uh, the name of the device listed as Airtame dash OOB dash and then six different characters. Those six characters are unique to this specific device and something you need to pay attention to. So for our specific device, it is DV237V. So with that in mind, let's focus a bit more on what happens on my laptop screen. So I have opened my app. And you can see it's completely blank because I haven't set up any other uh, devices on this network before. But in the top of the screen, it does say two new Airtime devices found. Now, this is because I actually turned on two different Airtime devices at the same time, and they are both pending my laptop requesting to be set up. So in order to see these devices, I'm going to click Show. And then I'm going to focus on the device that I, uh, that I want to set up. So as I said before, we're going to focus on the one with the name DV237V. I'll hit the setup button for this Airtime hub. And the first thing I'm prompted to fill out is simply the name of my Airtime device. I'm going to call this one Copenhagen. Next off, I need to actually link my Airtime device to my Airtime cloud account. So I'm going to go into my browser here and just follow the steps from the app, meaning I'm going to go in here. Uh, optionally, I can select a specific group where I want to place my Airtime device and then click Add Airtime. This shows me a modal with a cloud token, and I just need to copy this cloud token and put it into the desktop app. So I'll hit Copy Token, and now I have the token ready in my clipboard. One important note if you're setting up multiple Airtime devices in a row is that each cloud token has to be unique for each device. So if you're immediately setting up a second device, make sure to hit the new token button before you copy the next token for the next device. I'll close this one and head back to my application and paste in the token I just copied. Then I'll hit continue. From here, I can optionally fill in a password for my Airtime device. I'll skip this one for now. And now I need to select what network to use to actually get my Airtime device online. I will select Wi-Fi. And what's happening now is actually my laptop is connecting directly to my Airtime device using the built-in Wi-Fi signal of my Airtime device. This allows me to send information from my laptop, laptop directly to the Airtime device, explaining what it should be called and what Wi-Fi to get on. So as you can see, I can now select a Wi-Fi network. I can also join a hidden network if the SSID is not visible. In my case, I'm going to scroll down and look for the network called Office Network. This specific network for this uh, demo purpose has no password, but if I select a different web network, you will, of course, be prompted to fill out any authentication to be able to join that network. I'll select my Office Network and hit Setup Now. 
If we head back to the TV, you can see it says setting up. And after a few seconds, it says good job. And I can then verify in my app that my TV is in fact connected. From here, I hit done. And that is my Airtain screen setup. Now, because I've set up um, a new Airtain device, I do need to make sure that my license has been applied properly. So I'll go into my Airtain Cloud account and look for my Airtain screen. Now, if you've bought a new Airtain device, it will come with a license that should automatically be applied to your device. But for this demo, I'm actually repurposing an older Airtime hub that doesn't have a license. So for that reason, it actually says unlicensed over here. If you already have a license available in your Airtime cloud organization, you can simply add them to these devices. So I'm going to hover over Copenhagen, hover over unlicensed, and click add license. From here, from here I have to pick exactly what license I want to use. Because I want to use this Airtime Hub with video conferencing, I will be selecting Airtime Hybrid. So with the license applied to my Airtime screen, I want to enable the video conferencing next. So let me just quickly zoom in. All I'm going to do here is go to the settings option for my Airtime screen and open conferencing and then enable video conferencing here. I'll select the microphone, speaker, and camera I want to use um, based on my connected peripherals and hit save. And just like that, I have an Airtime screen fully up and running, ready to receive both screen sharing and video conferencing calls on the device. So this has been a quick demo on how you can actually set up your Airtime screen using a wireless network. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.